This is an overview video of the new effects in FX Factory Pro version 2.5. There are some excellent new distortion filters and transitions, origami, accordion, page flip, and genie, as well as some new color correction filters, vibrance, and local contrast. First up, origami. Origami is a unique page fold transition. Transitions work in Final Cut Pro and Final Cut Express. It is located in Effects, Video Transitions, FX Factory Pro Transitions. There are two origami transitions, square and triangle. Let's take a look at square and drop it on an edit point between two clips. In its default state, you can see that it's a page fold transition, hence the name similar to the effect used for slideshows on the iPad. The presets are straightforward. From these we can see that there are two main elements at play, the fold and a light effect. For this specific clip, I think the top right opposing light preset works best. In the parameters, you can see that we have control over which corner gets folded. The Fold Outgoing Clip checkbox allows me to reverse the effect, create the fold on the first clip instead of the second. We have control of the position of the light source and the strength of the shadows it produces. I'll back down the shadow strength slightly. Origami also has a corresponding transition. Next is Accordion. Accordion is a unique page fold style transition. If I place it on an edit point in its default state, you can see what Accordion does. It does a page fold with multiple folds like an accordion. The presets are a good starting point. From these we can see that there are two main elements at play, the fold and a light effect. For this cut, I like the brochure preset. I'll change the direction to left, which better suits the action in my clips. I have control over the number of folds. Let's change this to two. We also have control of the lighting effect, the light position, and shadows. I'll back my shadows down slightly. I like these settings. I'll save it as a preset. Next up, Page Flip. Page Flip is a transition that emulates the turning of pages. I'll drag Page Flip on a cut. Immediately you can see it's aptly named. I'll use the preset called Straight Page. I'll change the duration to 2 seconds so the effect is a little slower and more deliberate. I'll change my flip direction to left, which is a little better for my specific clips. If I go to the middle of the transition, I can show you what the other parameters do. The curl slider adds a curl to the turning page. Our preset is called straight page, but I'll add a tiny bit of curl. Next we have control over the lighting effect, the light position, and shadow amount. I'll leave these set to the defaults. I'll change my animation curve to exponential in-out. At any time you can see diagrams of these curves by clicking on the FX Factory Pro Help icon and looking in the manual. Next up, Genie. Genie is a unique distort effect and corresponding transition. 
I'm in Final Cut Pro, but Genie works in Final Cut Express, Motion, and After Effects as well. It is located in Video Filters, FX Factory Pro Distort. I'll show you some of the presets. Genie is a squeezing distortion with some great auto animation. I like this preset called Toothpaste. Let's take a look at the parameters. The effect gives us nice creative control over the distortion type, squeeze in or out, and the amount of pinch. I'll back down the pinch amount slider slightly, and also slightly raise the magnitude setting. This will lessen the distortion effect on my footage and retain the picture a little more as it animates into the distance. We have control over the animation settings, which I'll leave alone, as I like what this preset is doing. The animation time setting is very handy. This is set to duration of clip, but you can have complete control by changing this to duration in seconds and adding a time, or by choosing progress, which gives you a simple zero to one, off to on slider, which you can keyframe. I'll go to the motion tab and turn on motion blur for some added realism. I'll also turn on a drop shadow. The Genie effect generates an alpha channel, so I can comp this with other footage. Genie also has a corresponding transition. Next, I'll show you Vibrance. Vibrance raises the saturation of a clip while minimizing clipping. It is located in Video Filters, FX Factory Pro Color Correction. This effect is pleasantly simple. Essentially, you only have one slider, off to on. As I slide it up to maximum, you can see the saturation increase in my clip. It's the most evident in the blue sky and in the green of the fields. It adds the saturation while minimizing clipping of the colors. My second clip of farmland has reds, blues, greens, and yellows. You can really see what this effect does as I move the slider back and forth. Finally, I'll show you Local Contrast. Local Contrast is a contrast enhancement plugin for color correction. It is located in Video Filters, FX Factory Pro Color Correction. I'll drop the effect on an interview clip. Immediately, you'll see a slight bump in the contrast of the picture. Contrast, simply stated, is the distance between the light and dark portions of your clip. If I max out the values of this effect, you'll see the blacks get really black and the whites get really white. This is reflected on the waveform monitor, which measures only the luminance in the image. My clip has become a little cartoonish, which could be a look if that's what you'd like. There are two presets, dramatic and vibrant. Vibrant is a little more subtle, I'll use that one. I'll slightly raise the contrast slider to my taste. You can see that the radius is set to zero, which limits the area of effect of the contrast slider, which is why this preset is more subtle than the dramatic preset. I'll slightly raise the radius setting to taste. I have a second clip of a runway model. I'll drop local contrast on it and use the dramatic preset. You can see that it gives a distinctive crushed contrast look to the clip. FX Factory Pro 2.5 is a free upgrade for FX Factory Pro 2 users. There is also a trial period, so you can test all plugins before making a purchase. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great plugins. If you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at noiseindustries.com.